for my exhibit proposal, I titled it My Journey Through Humanities, and I wanted it to be focused on the powerful leaders that we covered throughout the chapters 1 through 8. Why are powerful leaders important for people to see? Well, during our journey through humanities, we have learned about many people from the past in order for us to see what they've accomplished or did not accomplish so that we can create a broader future for ourselves. Well, it is important to be educated about powerful leaders throughout history because we can learn at their successes versus their failures, as well as learn from their artifacts that they found important to them. Artifacts of powerful leaders during different time frames are important to take a closer look at because each artifact tells a story and it feels as if it would help the community learn from each of these artifacts during these time frames because they're able to see and learn from that time frame. My exhibit. The Journey Through Humanities exhibit is laid out to be a place where you can relax and you can explore history. I want my guests to be able to walk through seeing artifacts and artworks from the past. My decor and my exhibit will have paintings and drawings from the past history. I want my guests to see and have a visual image of whose artifacts they are looking at. My exhibit will literally be a walk through the past. For example, we'll start out with prehistory in Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt. This piece right here is an artifact. It, it, it's aged dated to back to 1754 BC. The origin is Babylonian, code of the ancient Mesopotamia. The culture is ancient Mesopotamia. And the meaning behind this artifact is it sets laws that meets requirements of justice. The significance is that the code of laws is a collection of 282 rules, established standards for commercial interaction and set fines and punishments to meet the requirements of justice. It shows the powerful leader wanted to construct a justice system during this time frame. The next one that we're going to look at is Ancient Greece. This is Zeus. Um, he's aged back to the beginning around 700 BC. The origin is Mount Olympus. Um, the culture, Ancient Greek religion. The meaning is Zeus is king of Mount Olympus. He ruled the world and imposes his will onto gods and mortals alike. The significance is, although this is not an actual artifact, I want my exhibit to have pictures of some of the powerful leaders in the ancient Greece time frame. Ancient Rome. This right here is Augustus's head. Um, Augustus was the first emperor of Rome, and this aged back to 25 BC. The origin is Roman Empire. Um, the culture is Roman, and the meaning behind this is a portrait of Augustus served as a symbol of his political agenda. The significance is that this artifact is to give an insight of who Augustus was and what he actually looked like. Um, the small head is the depict the of the Roman Emperor Augustus. It's based on Roman prototypes of this portrait in the earlier parts of his realm. Um, Egyptians' influence may be present in the suggestion of loose flesh beneath the prominent cheekbones. World religions. Um, this right here is a Roman Catholic. Um, it's aged year 547. The origin is Ravenna, Italy, and the culture is Roman Catholic. The meaning is the famous image of political authority from the Middle Ages um, is the mosaic of the Emperor Justinian and his court in the sanctuary of the church um, Zanfidel in Ravenna, Italy. Um, the significance is having these pieces of art in my exhibit is to have a piece of the past and show guests pictures of the political authorities um, Catholic Church during this time frame. The Middle Ages. This is King Charles. Um, he was a powerful leader of this time frame. This artifact was, or painting, was um, created around 1445. The origin is Le Vray Paris. Um, the culture is a French painting in the 15th century. The meaning is this painting was created by Jean 
Bouquet, and he captured King Charles' full features. The significance is I wanted my guests to see what and who they are learning about and the history behind the people they are learning about. The Renaissance. Um, the Renaissance was, there was early years and there was late years of the Renaissance. Um, this right here is the Medici family. This is the son. Um, the age of this is 1478. The location was Berlin, Germany. Um, the culture is early Renaissance. Um, the meaning behind this is Giuliano Medici captured by an artist in this time frame. This painting shows his looks. The significance of this piece is that Sandro Bocelli captured a lifelike creation of the Medici family's son. They ruled for many years in the early Renaissance and they were powerful leaders due to their wealth. Um, the conclusion statement is the city council should approve my proposal because it will bring people together as well as give them something to enjoy. If people enjoy my exhibit, it could allow other people from all walks of life to come see it themselves. I want everyone who visits my exhibit to walk through the past and see pictures, artworks, and artifacts of the journey through humanities. The cultural importance of my exhibit's central theme is powerful leaders. My exhibit will bring great value to the community and be something that everyone will want to see because it will be a place to enjoy yourself and learn about all the significant people of the past. And these are all my references.